Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy church is of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our holy father, Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Our most reverend Metropolitan William, for God loving bishops, for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this 
city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Travel by sea, air, and land for the sake, the suffering, the captain, for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. <clears throat> Lord our God, mighty be in description, glorious of all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion us and on this holy church, your Master. And show us in those who pray with us the, the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is due glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever.
wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us to sing to you. God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
Let us be attentive, peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. My strength and my song is the Lord. He has become my salvation. He has become my salvation. severely, but did not hand me over to death. My strength and my song is the Lord. He has become my salvation. He has become my salvation. Wisdom. A reading from the second epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, the God and Father of the Lord Jesus knows, blessed be he forever, that I do not lie. In Damascus, the ethnarch of Timorathus was keeping a close watch on the city Please be to your reader. Wisdom be attentive. Then let us then listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading 
from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Oh, let us be attentive, the Lord said, as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. But if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. But love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For He is kind to the unthankful and evil. Therefore, be merciful. Just as your father also is merciful. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Holy Spirit descend on you. to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. Very glad to see all of you this morning here in our church. Thank you so much that you came this morning for this divine liturgy. You know when, I don't know, when I read this gospel, today's gospel, it always something, I have always that feeling that Jesus I'm really way away, far away from this, from this commandments of Jesus Christ. And you hear, when you read this, this gospel, you know, you realize that I am not perfect at all. I am really in a lot of things to do with myself. I really have to, to try to do more and more and more to work on myself and my character. It's a lot of work. One priest I remember, he told us, like back in that time, 80 80s, you know, in Rome, in the seminary, they had a meeting, the students, they had a meeting with Mother Teresa, the same today, Saint Mother Teresa. And she, said to those students, to those seminarians, that if you don't have desire to become saint, to become holy, you have to quit the seminary right now. I think, you know, we can apply this not only to the seminarians, to the priests, to nuns, monks. I think, you know, we can apply this to every one of us. That we have to have that desire to be holy, to be saints. We have to have that desire in our hearts to be good children of God. We have to have desire to live this life in good way. A wonderful way with God. Love your enemies. Love. Probably we know that commercial. 
Ta -da -ta -ta -ta. I'm loving it. Hmm? I think we know that commercial. We so often, you know, use this word love everywhere. I love that, okay, hamburger. I love that Coke. I love those flowers. I love that. I love my daddy. I love my mommy. I love my husband. I love my wife. I love my parents. I love. Love, 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 love. It's a wonderful word. Such a deep word. Wow. You know, in Greek language, in Greek language. They don't have just one word to describe the law. They have four types, four different words to describe the law. Not just like we have in our language. One. The first, what they use, the word is eros. That love among men and women. To describe that love among men and women, they use this word. This another one, the second one is philia. Or we can describe that word or explain that word as as friendship. I have my friends, you know, and that relationship what I have with them, you know, it's like philia. Another one is storge. That love among parents and children, and children and parents. They use the word storge. And another one, which we can find very often in the Bible. Especially when Jesus Christ, he says, love your enemies. He uses the word agape. That sacrificial love. Love which forgives. Love which accepts everyone. Love which can wait, can forgive, can give everything. That is kind of divine love. That agape. And with that love, God, He loves us. Every one of us. And He says to us, Love your enemy with that love. Love your neighbor with that love. With that divine love. Sacrificial love. Who is my enemy? Who is my enemy? Actually, it doesn't have to be somebody, you know, who is persecuting me every day with knife or with gun. Hmm? No. No. During the 20th century, was one philosopher, Sartre. In one of his books, he said, that my neighbor is my hell. This sentence became very popular. And we can think a little bit, you know, who is my enemy now? Really. When your husband every day come back home, you know, drunk, and spend all the money for whiskey, isn't it not hell? If in, in family, you know, somebody cheating you. Isn't it not hell? Isn't it hell? If your son does not respect you at all, or daughter, and they live by the, just like they want, isn't it not hell? Isn't it hell? I tell you, you know, back... In the communist time, in the Ukraine, in Russia, you know, when we had that USSR, the son could report on his father, father could report his son or daughter to KGB. Hmm? Isn't it hell? 
Where is my eye? And Jesus Christ, he tells to us today, no. I can change that hell to the heaven. I can give you, instead of that sorrowful, I can give you the happiness. Instead of the pain, I can give you joy. I can change your life. Just love. Love your enemy. With that love with which I loved you. Who is enemy to God, to Jesus? I am. I am his enemy. I am a sinner who with which sin crucifies him. I am that enemy, but he loves me, he accepts me, he forgives me, he blesses me, he blesses me for everything. And he tells me, see, with this love, you have, love, you have to love your neighbor, you have to love your enemy. At the end of this short meditation, I'd like to read to us, you know, just to remind. I'm sure every one of us, we know these words. But I would like just to remind to us. I think, you know, this most powerful, most wonderful words what man ever wrote about the law. Though I speak with the tongues of man and of Angels, but have not long. I have become sounding breath or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not long, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of France, and for most reverend metropolitan will, and for God loving bishops, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Again, we pray, O Lord, our God, hear our supplication through your grace and mercy in your servants, all parishioners of this parish. Grant all their petitions and pardon all their voluntary and voluntary sins. Accept their supplications and charitable deeds before the throne of your majesty. Secure them from every visible and invisible enemy, from every misfortune, distress, and affliction. Spare them from illness and grant them health and long life. Let us all say, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Father, you have asked us to pray for vocations that there might be young men and women willing to go up to give up themselves for the sake of the gospel. Hear the prayers of your church and through the merits of your passion and death, send an abundance of good and holy priests, religious and other consecrated persons to serve faithfully the people of God. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Amen. Again, we pray for the people who are present, who await you great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our Most Reverend, Metropolitan William, all entire priestly, diaconal, monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all the Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, hold on our, our holy and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Accept also the prayer of us sinners, bring us to their holy altar, enable us to offer your gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to fight favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you and that the good spirit of your grace may rest in us and this gives her present and in all your people. Rend this through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and like creating spirit now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Love one another that with one mind we may profess. Wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only
Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy Nephra in peace. So for our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let And just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and let nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this, we thank you, and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. For all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us, we also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged many eyes, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting. Crying aloud and sing the triumphal hymn. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord as our deliverance. We also pray to this blessed Christ our Lord. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. For the remission of sins. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension to heaven, the sitting at the right hand, the second coming in glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. Bread, the precious blood of your Christ, and that which is in this shell is the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit, that for those who partake of them, bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, no judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. 
especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. the first, O Lord, to remember our Holy Father, Francis Popo from our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving bishops, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. That with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise their most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, mystical altars in Rama spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us besiege the Lord. of peace a faithful guide and garden of our souls and bodies let us besiege the Lord. This, Lord for the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses let us besiege the Lord, this, Lord for what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world let us besiege the Lord that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us besiege the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian painless and a shame peaceful end of our life and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us besiege the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. And make us worthy a master that we may with confidence and without condemnation draw call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Is be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. See how brought all things out of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, makes move for the good of all the path that lies at according to the need of each. Sell with those who sell, try with those who trial, cure those who are sick of physicians, souls, and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy, good, and light, creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. I shall take. Chalice, chalice.
Say your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Oh, 
Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and forever. Now that we have received the divine whole, we must be immortal, heavenly, like creating in us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, Master Benefactor, for souls who love us all that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and the Virgin Mary of all your saints, may straight to path confirm us all in fear of you, guard the life and safeguard our steps. For your our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessing those who bless you, sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them, return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, worship to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. And call the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, God, our hope, glory to you. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of our blessed martyrs, Bishop Theodore, Bishop Paul, and Bishop Basil, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. time thank you so much to all of you that you came this morning to our church for this divine liturgy and just few things what I would like to tell you the first of all tomorrow we have feast of the protection of mother of God and the divine liturgy for that feast is going to be tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening 7 p.m. 
Also, just this week, we had a meeting with our advisor and financial counsel, and we decided to update our directory, the directory of our parish. So please, all the parishioners, all people who would like to become our parishioner, everyone who considers himself as our parishioner, from age 18 and up till 120, please, in the back of our church, are the forms for the information for the directory. Take one, fill it in, and bring it back and give it to Veronica Wend or to me, but better to her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> less work for me. <laughs> so, also in the back of our church, you can find the liturgical schedule for the October, the little calendars, as always, you know for the October and make sure that you will have one at your house. Make sure that it will be on the visible place that you always can be, you know, can check, that you will be able always check what we have, you know, what service we have that or that day. So, and just, you know, we have a lot of information for this week. Just read carefully the bulletin. Wish you to have a nice and blessed Sunday. And may the law always be in our hearts, in our words, and in our deeds. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory. Rent, O Lord, to all people here present, to all our parishioners, to all our families, relatives, and friends, to all sick people of this parish, peace, health, and happiness for many happy and blessed years. God, grant us many, many years. 